Hey everybody, how you doing? Well, I just did, I'm doing the same colors from my last video, but this time I'm going to keep out the metallic white. Um, I think the rosebud is bright enough that kind of substitutes the white. So I want to see what happens with this one. This is a 10 by 20. Um, it requires at least seven ounces, six to seven ounces of paint. Um, six actually, but I'm going seven to play it safe. And I am using metallic gold. I'm using ro metallic rose gold, rosebud satin, and bright rose gold glitter paint mixed. Okay, so th those three are combined. And then I'm using deep bronze which is a ultra bright metallic and the regular metallic bronze from Artist Loft. I mix those two. And then I'm using this ultra bright copper. Metallic copper. Okay. And then I'm using metallic silver. Here we go. And there's no silicone. The last one I did was with white. It is absolutely beautiful. Although I did have some white cells pop up. Don't want that. But it's still a beautiful painting. It's absolutely gorgeous. So if you want to see that from the last video, that's great. And you can't even see the white specks only really up close like with the camera. Um, you can't see it from standing two feet away. So it's just when you hold things up to the camera, it really shows the depth and everything in the pictures. So, okay, here we go. And I know you hear my air conditioner, but yeah, it's got, it started getting hot on me. Because I've been in here and I kept my air off for the last video, so yeah, figured it. It'll shut off in a minute. So which order am I going to do this? Let's see. I did the copper, then gold, then I did the rosebud, and then I did bronze. So. I think this time maybe I should do it in that same order because it worked out real good and then I put the silver on the end I think maybe I should go silver first yeah I'm gonna go silver first Gold. The rose gold. Metallic rose gold, rosebud, glitter, and what was the other one? Bright rose gold glitter, metallic rose gold, and rosebud satin. Together. Now the bronze artist loft and the 
ultra bright bronze craft smart. All right. No white in this one because I think that rose book gold gives off enough brightness. We'll see. It's not showing. Now, for some reason, I'm just steering away from black on this one. Just thinking that black will not look good. Then maybe it would, so I may be wrong. the copper more okay oh now I'm getting cells weird could have been that white setting it off because it was so heavy comes the silver more. Hmm. Some cells popping up on this one. That's good. Sometimes paint just needs some time to sit, and it did sit for a while. Nope, not one speck. A little bit there. And that's not even white in there. That must be from the rose gold. Uh, this one's good. That bronze is showing up good in this one. Alright. Just like highlight of my day doing this. <laughs> so serious. Working with these colors lately has been really fun. These oddball colors. doing that so the paint will spread because the canvas is very dry if you're wondering that's specking up some of those look at must be that rose gold because you know what that's a satin too Isn't it funny how it looks green in the picture the um, bronze yeah. This time I'm going to go... No, I'm going to do it the same way I did since I'm up here. Worked out well, so... Kind of bring it back in the middle again. Bring it back 
back to the middle. Look at that, I'm finally getting some cells in this one. Alright, so we'll work it this way first. This one is showing every color this time. Well, the other one did too, but this was showing very prominently. Bring it back to the I know it's dizzy looking in the camera up so close. I shouldn't have put the camera so close. I've noticed that when I'm pouring, it's just like, oh, when I'm mixing or when I'm tilting, it can be very annoying if the camera is too close. I apologize for that, guys. I will start bringing my camera up. You know, I never thought of that too, too, that it's that bad. Definitely use the exact amount of paint required. I mean, you know, to the T. There, I went over that side. Okay, so I'm going to center it. I love this one. I think I love this one more. Okay. Funny how it looks green. Yeah, it actually does have a shimmer. It's really not green, the bronze. I have a little bit of it. But look at every color come out. The copper. The silver. Look at the silver. Yes. The copper, the bronze, the rose gold. And the gold, where's the gold? That didn't pop up too much. Hmm. Yeah, that's kind of mixed in, the gold is. All right, this one's a beaut. Let me wipe my hands. I like this one too, just as much as the other one. I'm trying to decide which one I like better. Oh, because the other one is so subtle and so, well, I don't know how to explain it. This one's got more going on with like the cells right there. A little bit of cells. Alright, and then there's more popping up over in the corner here. Just gorgeous. Looks green looking in the camera. Isn't that funny? Yeah, I don't know what black would look like. If I have any left over, maybe I'll do a little 8x10 black. 
Well, I'll probably regret it if it turns out looking nice. So look at all those cells. silver. Alright, let me see which way I like it better. I don't think my tablecloth's going to turn anymore. There we go, that air shut off. Alright, that's pretty. Let's see if you guys can see it. That would be a nice, probably bottom. Yeah. Oh yeah, looks nicer this way. I like this. I think I like it this way better. Because of what's going on up here. Either way, it's beautiful. But yeah, I like that way. So, I'm going to set it this way so you can see. I'm going to... Well, it depends on whoever buys it, but up to them but I will sign my name at, at the top on the back I do that I don't sign the fronts I don't know why somebody could easily take my name off or whatever that's fine though you no big deal I'm about ready to go out and sue people for stuff little petty things like that but I have heard of people claiming rights to things and then making lots of money <laughs> that wouldn't be right would it somebody making lots of money off of mine oh i have to look into maybe one of those ink pens people have been telling me about put my little initials down here before i gloss it you know they can always do things they can scrape them off and somehow alter it Anyway, I like this, too. All right. There I was blabbering on about something silly, but really, I've been questioning that, whether I should put my name on things, and I have not been doing that. The only thing I do is on the back of it, I write with a permanent black marker. So, that's just as good, I think. Okay, press the like and subscribe button if you want to. That would be great. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you enjoy watching this. And, yeah, I think I'm going to try one more with an 8x10. I think I have enough left in here to do a small... I have a little bit of copper, yeah. Do a small 8x10 just to see what it was like with the black. I think the black would have just been too much. Yeah. Let me know what you think. Okay? Alright, guys. Take it easy. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye now.